Hello and welcome to the Donkey Kong Jungle Climber Top 3 with me, the Jelly Monkey. And me, Spimic Crusader. Last time, we picked oranges for a bit, and now after all of these delays, we can finally move on to my favorite level of the entire game, Space Agogo. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember you mentioning that in, uh, I believe it was... Yes, it was the VGP. Yeah. This is my favorite stage for a lot of reasons. Partially because this is one of the few levels that has like a story behind it, so you know what the stakes are. Like in this case, you're chasing Karul in order to catch up with the King Cruiser 4. And kind of like in Falling Falls, there are about two unique sections to it. The first is the mountain, and as I've mentioned in my countdown, I love this mountain theme. <laughs> I, Again, I love the propeller I, blade. Yeah. <laughs> This has appeared a couple of times before, but <laughs> in case you weren't, haven't seen that video, move in the right direction, it propels you upwards. You don't actually have to go this way, but it's mildly easier, and of course you get the K for that route. Although I don't know why I bother, because I don't think I get all of the lessons at this level anyway. <laughs> uh, the, and this section, it's... Also a little attention, as you can see, the pegs, well not all of them, but most of them fall down when you grab them. Including the one right under the B. Yeah, so... You get out of the thing, a lot of... Just get out to be careful for this level, basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see, if it... Yeah, past me is kind of incredibly nervous. Not just because of the level itself, it's actually pretty easy. And... One thing I like about this music is that it doesn't rush you, so you, it kind of relaxes you and allows you to take your time. It's just that uh, one of the collectibles, which we have to get as far as 100%, is in a very tricky place, and I don't have any crystal stars to bail me out this time. And it's down there. Yeah. That was too close. <laughs> And of course, that peg falls down. Why did I not see that coming? <laughs> and spinning round, round, round. Now there we go. Baby, right round, baby, right round. <laughs> Throw yourself ass first into danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the words of in the words of Yahtzee, that's the best way to face the new year. Arse first <laughs> with uh, with eyes focused focused drunkenly on the year that came before. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we can now replace to get Diddy back, which is always good. Come on, there we go. Again, I really sorry, I'm distracted by this lovely theme, but I really wish I know who composed it because now I have all three composers up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, the music was composed. Just by Yuchi Kado, Yuchi Taka Hirota, and Tukashi Koga. Unfortunately, I mean, say what you like about Rareware, they were at least for, for coming with, um... <laughs> Killy Diddy, no. For... <laughs> <laughs> well, they were, they were coming more... with that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was more Winky they would like to see disappear, but that's what I was all through. <laughs> <laughs> uh... They are more full coming with behind the scenes information, like who composed who, so yeah, we can only guess on that regard. It's be it's one of those it's one of those elusive TV tropes. Um what what was it? It's one of those T elusive TV tropes epileptic trees. Yeah. Ah oh, well. But uh, anyway, story time. Uh, we <laughs> In all, that old typical trope, we arrived just too late, but frankly, <laughs> sorry, frankly, Cranky has an extra, which uh, <laughs> has a very useful item, which he literally could have told us about a bit sooner, but never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just leave that to, just leave that to Cranky. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, you desperately need to, you know, desperately need to reach that ship. Oh, oh, here's this, de this Deus Ex Machina I told no one about until now. <laughs> But yeah, this leads into the second and quite fun section of the game. This is a booster valve, making its return from a kind of swing, although similar items have been seen in both returns and uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. And we are now flying into space. 
it actually fits this time. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, controls are pretty simple, L and R to go left and right, although you can use the um, left and right keys as well. And this section's not really that hard, although it looks pretty intimidating. There's a predictable like, wave pattern that comes up around you, but as long as you're basically careful of not uh, <laughs> jamming all over the place, you can see them coming. The only problem is, again, there are some banana coins you can pick up, and they're in the most... <laughs> They are in the most trickiest places, and you can't go back round and collect them because you're being propelled forwards. <laughs> it's kind of like those con levels in the minecart levels of Return. You see things something you could have picked up, and you go, Ah, oh, crap, I should have gone that way, but <laughs> no, you're propelled forwards. And yeah, I also love this music, although bizarrely in the um, album I obtained of it, it's called ATM. I don't know why. What? Yeah, I don't get it either. And is it just me or is it raining in space? Yeah, well, I think that's meant to be speed lines rather than rain. Uh, uh the good old Star Wars hot the good old Star Wars light speed speed lines. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> Best way to end the level, yeah. <laughs> that that was amusing. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there. <laughs> I, lo I love how well that worked out. The good old Star Wars. Oh, crap! <laughs> but yeah, those speed lines were always pretty cool. And yeah, I love how the um, whole <laughs> level's affected in the, in the um, level map there. And this is the... I'm presuming this is the final level. It, you could say that. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched your ancient, 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 ancient... LP LP of this a long time ago. We'll talk about yeah. it's not really LP. Yeah, well <laughs> now they all be the same thing really. Anyway. Jiggle I that see. lever, Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh jeez. I never thought I'd be happy to a lever distraction. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> oh jeez. Again, this wouldn't be so hard. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that about a level filled with buzz saws, but unfortunately, again, when you're doing this 100%, it's a lot more tricky because of this one banana coin. <laughs> As you can see here, we are just carefully waiting for the timing of these buzz saws. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, jiggle that lever, Donkey Kong. <laughs> jiggle like you've never jiggled before. Jiggle that lever like it's a baguette. You're gonna keep making that reference, aren't you? You're never going to live it down. <laughs> I and I love how that's gonna be a noodle incident for anyone watching this. Pretty much, yeah. Anyway. Which is an ironic choice of words. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what was going on with that fade out there, but anyway. Did, this did, is a... Did, yeah. Did, did past Jodan somehow jump and jump and drift into the spikes or something? Yeah, he might have done. <laughs> this section, yeah, this certainly feels like a final level because, <laughs> well, mind, lots of them, lots of lots of tricky traps. <laughs> yeah. This is all about timing. See, as you can probably see on the bottom screen, there's the Kremlin spinning that handle. That handle is apparently a mind producing the seed or force producing the seed. I don't know. And Again, I've seen force that they don't explode, but yeah. A apparently, it not only produces mines, but redu but reverses gravity so they can actually fly. Yeah, I don't get it either, but that's what. It wow, wow. K rolls funding for for his for his industrial operation seems to be going well. Yeah. He can reverse gravity. True. Although that said, he can't really get that many bosses these days. He has to keep using Kremlin instead. <laughs> Super. Yeah. He has to keep using Kremlings that are over nine thousand. I will kill you after this. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, I found your move faster, Pokey. I see Diddy died. Yeah, the, well, this <laughs> this level, it is filled with, well, I guess you could say danger, but also just 
really irritating devices. There are boards, there are spikes, there are cogs, as you can clearly see. <laughs> All of which have left me to my death. <laughs> no, yeah, the cogs, pretty simple. They move one direction, whichever hand you grab them, like, they'll go right if you grab them with the right hand, and they will go up if you grab them with the left hand. No, I'm kidding, they go left. <laughs> And they will go. F and they will go. Thanks, Snargle Dude. I guess if you grab them with your left. That's another reference that has gone completely over my head. So. <laughs> that was that was the reference. <laughs> okay then. Uh, now, you may be wondering what I'm doing now. There is a glitch. I, f I was trying to pull off. Uh, unfortunately, I had forgotten one basic rule. See, you can't detonate the forms remotely by just using Diddy. Unfortunately, for in order to do that, you have to make sure the DK is nowhere near the explosion, otherwise Diddy takes the hit. <coughs> hey. Unfortunately, and Diddy pays the price of my mistakes. <laughs> uh, he, he dies a heroic sacrifice. For the greater good. Yeah. Oh, and might have noticed that's the last oil barrel of the entire game. Well, it is. It's a fairly final level. That was finality. Yeah, that's true. It's a finale in one sense. And hey, okay. For some reason, I am determined to get all the con letters. I think it was because I was worried about my lives counts. But yeah, let's just say that Diddy's gonna die for, for my failure again. Holy crap, Kremlin Carpet Bomber. Pretty much. And this section, oh my god, this section took me forever. Basically, what you're supposed to do is grab the bombs he throws, and then throw them upwards to kill all the Kremlings, so... And, yeah, and that steel drum. Thankfully, I got lucky that time, but the first time I tried to record this, it took forever. Oh yeah, that section... It's not really hard or dangerous, it's just irritating because, of course, you have the picky throwing mechanics and, well... <laughs> oh, and of course, you now have the throwing the timing of the Kremlin. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of... and, uh, to call back... Speaking of references and to call back to another old video of ours... Is it me, or did the... or was the room that Kremlin was in completely sealed off? Yeah, <laughs> More rooms <laughs> with no doors. <laughs> His entire purpose in life was just to throw bombs at <laughs> Wow, I, I I took K. Rool as a bastard, but I didn't take him as that much of one, you know, lock, <laughs> creating a Kremlin entirely to lock him in a room for eternity. I mean, he may not even have, may not even created him, the credits are only just going, yeah, I see my wife and child now. No! You... <laughs> <laughs> the UK's coming, I do not want him on my ship, blow up the bloody... <laughs> Carpet bomb him and to and to that Kremlin success he was very competent at his job. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately we're still alive, so <laughs> In fact who knows, he's at the end of the game he's probably goes, okay, DK's past me now, can I get out of here? <laughs> and then there will oh. and inevitably there will be no Karul at the end for for him to actually be responded to. Oh. But yeah, that's the end of this part. <laughs> Clearly. 